Run the 3D Draper setup program on the computer where you plan to use the Draper plug in for Unreal Engine. Optionally, you can select for which versions of the Unreal Engine you want to install the plug in. Launch 3D Draper for the first time. You will be presented with the registration dialog. Copy your hardware ID. Optionally, specify your registration name. Email us this information. You will receive a registration key to start using the program. Once you have registered 3D Draper on your computer, everything should be ready to run. Now in your Unreal Editor, open the plugins and enable the Draper plugin. Restart your project if needed. Let's add a simple character skeletal mesh to our scene. Click Add Component in the Detail panel and start typing Draper. Select Draper Simulation. In the case of a complex character such as a meta-human, you need to add the Draper Skeletal Mesh component first and specify Hidden Skeletal Mesh to be used for the cloth collisions. After that you need to add the Draper Simulation to the Draper Skeletal Mesh component. Select a pose suitable for garment draping. It is usually an A pose or a fitting pose. In the Draper Simulation Collider section, select the LOD level for the mesh to be used for the cloth collisions. For instance, LOD1 or LOD2 to bring the number of polygons used in the collision calculation down. You can use the Unreal Engine LOD functionality to add low polygon meshes. You can select a different hidden mesh to be used for the cloth simulation. For example, you might want to reduce the number of polygons for the body parts that don't participate in collisions such as the head, arms, and feet. Once you configure the mesh to be used for the cloth sim, click the export button and select the location for the mannequin mesh to be exported in OBJ format. Now let's design some clothes in 3D Draper for your character. You can design your own garments or use the 3D Draper sample files. The sample files are created with the Das Genesis and Mita human mannequins, but the clothes can be adapted for other human characters exported from the Unreal Engine Studio. Let's open one of the sample files. Import your character of BJ file and adjust the patterns, two sizes and three positions around the mannequin if needed. Run the simulation and if required adjust the garment position on the mannequin. With the simulation running, export the three garment draped around your character into a specified location to be used in Unreal Engine Draper plugin. The exported garment will be stored as a separate folder which contains all the garment files such as the 3D mesh textures metadata and so on. Now we can import the clothes for your character in Unreal Engine Studio. Add the Draper garment to the Draper simulation component. Click the three dot button and select the garment folder where you exported a garment for this character. You should see the garment loaded and positioned on your character. You can add more than one garment by adding additional Draper garment components. The order of the garments in this list is treated as layers, so the first garment will be kept underneath the second garment, and so on. You can also group your Draper garment components by adding a scenes component for your convenience. In order to modify the clothes fabrics using Draper Editor, click the Edit button. The Draper Editor panel will open. Click on the Select Material button for the fabric you wish to edit. This will show all the material properties you can modify or set up from scratch. For instance, 
change the fabric color. Select between translucent and mask modes. Modify the color map. Adjust the texture dimensions. Adjust the normal map strength. And so on. Finally, you can save your fabric settings for this garment or export it to be used in the future. A detailed tutorial on how to modify or create new materials using the Draper Editor will be available in a few days. In order to start the simulation, you need to either play the current level with a selected animation for your character, or add your character to the sequencer. During the play mode, you can use your cursor to move the fabric and adjust the garment position on the mannequin. Please consider the following. The cloth simulation takes some time to initialize. So if your animation sequence starts with fast movements, the simulation may not catch up. In this case, consider slowing down the first few seconds of your animation. For example, start from a static pose or add some slow movements at the beginning. For a multi-GPU system, you can design it a specific GPU for the cloth simulation by selecting the bus number for that GPU. Negative one correspond to the default GPU. This can be useful when the default GPU is used for other heavy tasks, such as groom hair or when using several cloth characters. The cloth simulation is sensitive to the situations when parts of the character mesh are crossing each other or the cloth gets pinched in the armpits under elbows or knees. To protect the clothes from wear and tear, we've introduced the cloth binding. Please stay tuned for the tutorial on how to use the cloth binding. Here is an example how you can create special effects with the Draper cloth simulation, such as fast modeling with the fast clothes, changing in sequencer. In order to do this, we need to add the Draper simulation and Draper garment components tracks to our Meta human model in sequencer. Now let's add a trigger event track to each of these components and add the keys where we want to change the clothes. Bind these events to the Draper Garment Reset. You will see the changes in your Director Blueprint. You need to go open the Event Properties again and specify a folder for a new garment you want to put on. Finally, we go to the next frame and create an event for the Draper Simulation component Reload the Outfit. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop with the new tutorials and updates.